She's one of the Real Housewives of Sydney and after an epic season of drama, screaming and very expensive taste, we took some time out with Melissa Cowles to talk strategies for season two. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Great, come in, it's Thank you. It's so cold. How have you found this whole housewives experience. I had so much fun. I met some great girls. What's the response been like? Fabulous. I get a lot of, you're the only normal one on that show. And I'm thinking, God, don't say that, be loud. This particular season got very catty and I found that quite hard to cope with. And things escalated pretty quickly. Straight out of the gate, I thought. A lot of the drama didn't involve me, and I thought, why inject yourself into other people's drama? And all of my reactions were very, very real. But, you know, I think going into season two, I think I will speak up for myself a bit more and be a bit more opinionated. But I am who I am. I'm not a confrontational person. Yeah. I'm just not. We don't really see much of your husband in the series. No, not at all, actually. He's a bit camera shy. Very intelligent man. This is my world. He's got his world. How did you guys meet? I met my husband at my sister's wedding and my sister is married to my husband's best mate. Oh my god! And they've known each other since I was 13 years old and my sister kept saying, oh my god, wait until you meet Nick's best mate and blah 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 and I'm thinking, oh yeah, yeah, okay. And then when he arrived I'm like, okay, yeah. It was instant. I fell in love with him straight away. We're in your lovely kitchen. Mm -hmm. Does this get a lot of use? I wish it got more use. My oven doesn't get a lot of use. I'm a terrible cook. Do the kids request any of your special meals? The kids do not request any of my special meals. They request the meals that my mother brings over. Really? Can we have some bananas, lasagna or spaghetti? But it's really nice. Yes, it's, it's pretty to look at. My marble bench is everything to me, let me tell you. You know, it's a centrepiece of the house. Yeah. How cute is this room? I know, the kids' toy room. Every house, if you could have it, needs a toy room. Otherwise, the toys just filter through the entire house and you can never keep it clean. Do you love being a mum? I do, you know, and I didn't think I was going to. When I was growing up, I wasn't one of these girls like, oh, I want to have children, I want to have children, I want to have seven. I always knew I would have kids. I didn't know, you know, what kind of a mother I was going to be. I don't think any of us do. But I just love it so much. And it's so important to me that, yes, I still maintain my career, but that I, I am around and I see my children grow up and I'm very much a part of their lives. It's very important to me.